Hello everybody, it's Khalif PvP bring another Guild Wars 2 video. This time we're doing a video that we saw on Reddit. It was a video posted a little bit ago from this thief that was using poison to essentially do spike damage. Um, and honestly, watching it, it was really, really fun. So I want to kind of replicate this, that build rather, to see how it really works out in actual playthrough. What you're about to see here is a little glimpse of the kind of the build rotation. You can see, watch this, watch this ranger and how fast he drops. Um, and this is really what this build's about: using your poison as a kind of a spike damage. And this build, I didn't really, I didn't even, this rotation rather, it wasn't even optimal because I kind of, I was kind of avoiding this target. But yeah, so it is. Wow, real strong. So without further ado, let's get it started with our build. So for the specializations, you're going to pick up Deadly Arts, Trickery, and Daredevil. In Deadly Arts, you're going to pick up Mug, deal damage and heal on stealing. You're going to pick up Panic Strike, striking for below health, immobilizes them for 2.5 seconds. And then finally, Potent Poison, increased poison duration, uh, poison deals, increased damage. On the trickery line, you're gonna get Caltrops, Bleeding, and Cripples, kind of a given for pretty much any um, Condi build. Uh, and then Pressure Striking, enemies you interrupt are inflicted with Torment. Uh, for 5 seconds, you get about 1000 damage uh, base, and then another 1000 damage if they're moving, which is really nice. And then uh, Quick Pockets, gain initiative when swapping weapons while in combat. Now for this one, it's kind of, uh, you know, up in the air. You could switch this out and pick a Bewildering Ambush if you want. Um, a lot of people, I guess, like would like that one better. And I think in the video, he uses that one more. Uh, the reason I didn't pick this one up is it lasts for 5 seconds. Um, and, you know, your skills are interrupting a lot anyway. So at this point, I was kind of, you know, what's the, what's the use of having... From the Daredevil line, you pick up Havoc Mastery, deal increased damage to enemies within the range threshold. Um, I really didn't like anything else on this line, so I think it's kind of like a given to go to. Um, Pulmonary Impact, which is calls Rupture that deals massive damage when the skill ends. I think it'll last for about 3 or 4 seconds, and then it does about 1600 damage per Pulmonary Impact, and it stacks as well. And then finally, Impaling Lotus, um, you know, that's again a pretty given for a Condi build. So now let's talk about your equipment. Uh, you're going to run with a short bow, uh, running Poison Duration, Sigil of Venom. And the next one is Sigil of Bursting, which adds 6% to current condition damage. Now for this one, you can really, if you don't have the money, or it's only 3 gold, but if you don't have anything, uh, you can put some other... Uh, sigil on there I just wanted this kind of buff up my damage the next equipment set you have dagger pistol uh, again sigil of venom for inflict poison duration and then for the pistol one I have sigil of doom the next attack you swap to this weapon while in combat inflicts poison for eight seconds so you're gonna be switching between bow and your dagger pistol combo really often in in pvp in combat so you want to have that you know extra poison stack coming in for your rune uh i picked up rune of thorns it's uh condition damage poison duration uh i i like this over on uh, there's another one i think or um which is pretty much the same thing with a little bit difference between the skill number four um in four in ore is only 25 percent stack to cause poison Whereas 4 in Rune of Thorns is a 15% poison duration. Um, as well as your skill number 6 I think is a little bit better in Rune of Thorns. Because uh, it gives you a 20% poison duration just like Rune of Ore. But you get 50 condition damage for 60 seconds when you're hit by a poison foe. Uh, and a cooldown is 10 seconds. So you can really get about uh, what 300 or so um, sort of stacks. Or 300 or so uh, condition damage increase by having Rune of Thorns. It's, I think, 5 gold unlock uh, down here. Uh, so you want definitely want to unlock that one. Next up is uh, Carrion Amulet. Um, again, I, I really like the vitality increase. 
uh, from this over the condition duration increase from Viper's amulet. So you get um, you know, 1232 damage versus tw uh, 209. So only really about 300 or so damage. But you know, you can see you go from 1100 health to 20k health. I mean, that's that's a big, big difference. That's almost a 9k difference in, in health. So for that reason, I, I really like to run with carry an amulet. For the skills, um, the healing skill, Channel Vigor. Uh, it's kind of, I feel like at this point, probably one of the most standard healing skills you can pick up. You know, healing, you get a, about a 7k heal if your endurance is full, or about a 5k heal if it's not, and you get nice amount of endurance. And the cooldown's pretty short too, 20 seconds. Uh, for the next one, roll for initiative, you know, get your initiative back when you're out. You get impairing daggers, uh, you fire three daggers, one does poison slow and immobilize. Again, a really good combo for this build. Uh, spider Venom, uh, you know, kind of standard here, I don't even know why I'm explaining all this. Spider Venom, uh, poison foes, you got six attacks and it, each one does a decent amount of poison. And then finally, your ultimate Basilisk Venom, which turns your foe into stone. Um, we talked about our weapon combo, which is dagger pistol. So you have your primary attack in this build is going to be headshot, which does a nice daze as well as an interrupt. That's really what you're going to be doing. You're going to be spamming headshot to get pressure uh, striking as well as pulmonary impact as your primary damage dealers. So I want to slow this down a bit to kind of show the skill rotation because that's really what's important in this build. It, this rotation is really what makes the build. So you're going to start off with your two Venoms and then immediately after you get your two Venoms, you're going to cast your fourth skill on your shortbow, which will trigger Basilisk in addition to one of your poisons. As you do that, you're going to use Steel in addition to your three d d d daggers, right? The, the utility skill. And what that's going to do is you're going to fire off your daggers. In addition to that, you're going to do a dodge immediately after you hit that steel. So what that's going to cause is you're going to get a couple of the projectiles to put poison damage. You're going to get the dagger flying off your dodge to do put poison damage. In addition to that, you're going to put a little caltrop field that the user is going to be sitting on. And so, so what you're going to be doing is essentially going to spam a crap load of um, condition damage, condition of poison damage. So here's that fight again in a different angle. Um, so what it is again, both your poisons up, and then you're gonna use your short bow four to trigger Basilisk Venom. Uh, in addition to that, you're going to be stealing while you cast your three daggers. So what that's going to do again is it's going to stun your target, get about, I want to say like five or six poisons on them right off the bat. The steal is going to do some damage, and as you steal, as you're on top of the target, you're going to dodge, which will leave behind the Caltraw field. In addition to the Caltraw field, you'll have that dagger come out of you. Uh, from your uh, from your dodge, which will then also put another poison and increase your condition damage. So after this point, what you want to do is just use headshot from your pistol dagger or dagger pistol rather. Um, and what it's going to do is put down a ton of pulmonary impact if you interrupt the target. In addition to bunch of torment, and you can see in this video at one point I have about four pulmonary impacts going. And that's a you know each pulmonary impacts about fifteen hundred or a thousand to fifteen hundred or so damage. So just by like this guy existing, he's gonna take down five k damage. So here's me fighting. I would say average opponent. Um, you can see how fast he would go down um, by just the amount of poison damage you're gonna get. Couple things to know here, this build is highly functional when you have both your poisons. Without them, you're nearly not gonna get as much of an oomph as, as the uh, other one, so be mindful of that. So if your poisons are on cooldown, be aware that you're probably not gonna be dropping the target as fast as if you had the two venoms. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, that pretty much wraps up our video. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this. I really had a ton of fun playing it in SPVP as well as roaming in World vs. World. Pretty much the same exact build. So let me know what you guys' thoughts are. And as usual, if you like it, please do like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Khalif PvP. Peace! The artifacts have reached maximum power. Red Team has obtained an artifact. You captured Dragon. You've lost the field. Blue Team has obtained an artifact.